Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs and I am back with another episode. I just wanted to show how to export a Revit model into SketchUp. Now, often I do a lot of my work in SketchUp. I mean, sorry, in Revit. Uh, Revit 2019 now. Um, you know, my floor plans and, you know, uh, roof plans and sections and setting up my sheets and everything. I also do renderings and when it's time for me to do a rendering whether it's an interior rendering it could be an exterior rendering I like to use SketchUp for that because my Thea render is connected connected to SketchUp and um, I prefer to use SketchUp you know to manipulate things to to model new um, things like components and bathtubs or toilets or whatever cabinets so I'm just going to show how to export this file into SketchUp so first um, you need to be in 3d view you cannot export from you know your floor plan or your elevation make sure you're in the default 3d view click that we're gonna to go to file export CAD formats DWG um, this is good we'll just click next and let's go ahead and save this we'll just throw uh, just throw one two three in it right um, make sure you save this 2007 um, save it as the, the the earliest version you have you know if you have 2008 or whatever it shows show, click the earliest one so I'm gonna go ahead and click 2007 hit OK and get the little spinning wheel, it's doing its thing. I believe it's done. Yeah, it's done. Usually it takes longer. Um but that depends on what you got in here. Um I have a lot of things turned off to um you know if you have components and you know things like that. So um that's done. We'll go ahead and go into SketchUp. Um I have my SketchUp file open. You have to have SketchUp Pro. Um you can have 2016 2017 it, it just has to be pro it can't be sketchup make uh, it, you just you can't export and import files from other programs uh, maybe some programs but def definitely not Revit so uh, click import you're gonna get an import results box everything's fine then hit close I need all of that so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and when you're doing renderings you want to get it get rid of as much as possible um, topography um, everything is brought in as one component you just double click in here and you can start manipulating stuff um, you know if you wanna you know just add a roof um, I use uh, Thea render so I use a lot of Thea render materials but um, just for this you know just show that you can just do this here um, you know, um, double click here, hit that a few times. We'll go ahead and hide this roof. Let's look inside here. Go ahead and hide that ceiling. You know, you, you can get inside and uh, you can start some start laying things out. You know, you see all the components came in from Revit. You know, um, these com they come in as as components, um, which is pretty good, and you can manipulate them. Um, Let's see, let's double click, click in here, hit this, you know, let's just scale this up. Um, uh, look, I had my refrigerator the wrong way. Just flip it around. And sketch up. So, um, you know, let's offset that two inches. Let's uh, give it a little inset, you know. that two inches um, same inset you know um, now you can so it's pretty cool um, and look it changed everything you know like I said it brings it in as a component and these all these cabinets are the same at least these base cabinets are um, you know if I did that to the upper cabinets same thing happened so that's how I export 
my Revit file into SketchUp. I do it a lot because I do a lot of rendering. Um, so you know, I'll take this this kitchen here and start designing. You know, put it laying in my floor, um, getting the proper wall textures, and, and adding the proper textures to the cabinets and proper refrigerator like this is just the standard refrigerator from Revit I won't be using that anyway so I'll just get rid of that and go into 3D warehouse find a refrigerator something close to what the vendor has or I'll just have to create and model in SketchUp where I find it easier to model in SketchUp um, so yeah that's how you do it um, hopefully you found this video informative um, don't forget to hit the like button for me and subscribe. Thanks.